Hmm? Do you want to have set? Or? No. Mm -hmm. Just like this. <coughs> okay. Hello, everybody. My uh, name is Christian. I'm from uh, the Flower Platform Development team. And uh, I would like to speak to you about Flower Dev Center. Flower Dev Center is a software that uh, facilitates uh, collaborative uh, and collaboration um, around tasks uh, that are related to development. By that I mean uh, working with models, working with diagrams, a little bit of uh, collaborative coding, and other interesting things that can be do done um, collaboratively. Uh, I will jump directly to, to, to a demo. And um, we have here the, the web interface of, uh, of the software. I am using localhost instead of the live site because, uh, as you have probably seen, there are some Wi-Fi issues. What I have here, I have checked out from SVN, a project, and um, I have imported, um, I mean, I have, uh, I have here the, the classes, and I have created a, a new ML model, and I have synchronized it with the code. So what you see here are the model representations of the, of the, of the source files. And now I want uh, to do the, the, the following thing, I want to implement, let's say, so it's a, it's a game, it's a scenario. I want to, to implement a new, a new feature. Uh, let's say I, I'm, a, I'm a developer uh, working, contributing to this open source project, Password Safe, and uh, I want to develop some, something called, let's say, uh, let's uh, call it a skinnable dialogues. But I'm not alone. I want to do it in a collaborative manner. Let's say I'm in my office in Paris, in France. Um, I have my uh, colleague, uh, Sorin, over there. He's uh, connected from uh, his home with his laptop. And um, I have my other colleague, uh, Dana. She's uh, on holiday with her uh, tablet connected because she cannot have a peaceful holiday if she doesn't do some coding and uh, development-related um, discussions. OK, so we are, let's say, all together on Skype. We are connected to the web interface of the software. Uh, first of all, uh, we start from some, um, some existing classes, which I, which I drag on the, di on the diagram. And now, let's say that uh, Sorin, who's the most experienced of us on this feature, let's say dialogues, the dialogues, uh, feature of, of the applications, want to present something about, uh, about that. So, uh, as you can see, now he has um, um, drawn some, figu some, um, some figures to, to draw the attention. He's saying that uh, add dialogue is important, add dialogue constructor is, um, is important as well for, for what we want to do. And, um, and uh, of course, now he um, actually he wants to emphasize that I forgot to talk about the OK button. So these kind of tools are meant for presentation. We we talk, but we support what what we talk with, with some visual aids. I mean, they're not directly modeling related, but they are they, are, they may be use, useful when working collaboratively. What I do, I uh, I create some uh, some uh, dummy classes. Uh, let's say that this one uh, is called uh, skin, the other one is called uh, custom uh, skin. And um, I have uh, finished my job over here, but uh, my colleagues can contribute to, to the, um, the model as well. You see on the screen that new classes appear. Uh, Skinnable properties, uh, metadata, and um, I'm not. I mean, okay. I need to wait for the for the temporary lock that um, that uh, has been acquired. Okay. Now everybody can edit. What I will do? I will make a short. Um, I will make a synchronization of the code. And now, what we have modeled? I mean, it's not very much, there are only four classes, but it's, it's on, on the hard drive. 
Uh, besides being able to model uh, things in a collaborative model, we can work a little bit with, with text files as well. Um, because sometimes uh, it's inspiring to have the code in, in, in front of us. We might want to uh, write some snippets of code, or we might want to um, write some pseudocode, or even to navigate a little bit throughout the, the, the document, the, um, the existing um, classes. Um, Okay, I have here a um, search dialog similar to the one that we have in uh, Eclipse. Um, let's say um, I'm looking for this, this class. Um, here, um, the collaborative tools, the, the presentation tools uh, work. Uh, you can see that uh, Sorin has uh, edited uh, this. I mean, of course, we, want, we don't want to, to, to generate code that compiles and that works out of the box. But it's interesting to write some, some ideas over here. Um, and uh, what we can do as well is for, to, to use the control uh, click, just like we have it in Eclipse, in order to, um, to, 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 to navigate um, throughout the, the classes. Uh, let's say we have finished. We are happy with what we do. Uh, that means we can uh, we can commit the code and uh, get back to work in our um, favorite ID, of course, Eclipse. Okay, so that was my demo. These are the the, the blog you can subscribe to the RSS feed to receive uh, info or the Twitter uh, account. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes? Um, from the technology point of view, is there any Eclipse technology uh, built in your tool, or is, it, is the web editor completely new development? Um, you mean client side or, or server side? So on the server side, we use, uh, we use of course, Eclipse. We, we use Eclipse with uh, some plugins. I mean, the JDT, as you have seen uh, the, um, here, the, um, the control click, for example, is uh, we leverage the J JDT uh, code. Uh, of course, we use uh, EMF. We use the UML2 project. Uh, our model is based on UML2. And as for the front end, uh, is, uh, it, it's written in, uh, in Adobe Flex. And uh, it's, uh, I mean, it's running on, uh, on tablet uh, PCs as well. I don't know how, how, how much this thing will really be helpful, because when we code, we code. We need a keyboard, not, uh, I mean, uh, but it's interesting to have uh, it on mobile devices. Sorry? Screen sharing, WebEx or Skype, why would I use that instead of screen sharing? Uh, so th the problem of screen sharing is that it's great if somebody does the work and uh, somebody else uh, doesn't do the work. Um, if we try to, to, to work, there is always a lag. Always when we want to click, we have it twice. Uh, we need to install the programs. I mean, uh, wh when my clients uh, give me ex give me TeamViewer, uh, Citrix, it takes me if, uh, I don't know three minutes to install next 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 security exception. Okay, this is a web application. We have a link. We click, and uh, and it's open. It's uh, and of course um, and of course um, you can um, you can. Uh, watch what the presenting is doing. In parallel, you can work on another diagram. When he's finished, you come up directly with, uh, I mean, it speeds up the flow. But the, the solutions are comparable. I mean, I mean, better than this is to not have this at all and to be all together. I <laughs> yes? Uh, if I have rebuilt, yes. 
so we have we have uh, written in Flex uh, a text editor that supports highlight highlighting highlighting um, with a configura configurable gra grammar. We use JDT for the navigation stuff because on the client we we don't have the whole structure that we have on the server. The JDT on the server side uh, it knows about uh, what classes are referenced. Uh, so it's half-half, I mean, yes? 